Stan Gibalisco here to explain the meaning and operation of the term and the device called a variometer uh, in electronic and electrical applications. There is a device called a variometer which applies to aircraft. Uh, this has nothing to do with, with that. This has nothing to do with aircraft. This basically is a variable inductor but it comprises two separate inductors that can be connected either in series or in parallel. In this particular example, I show them connected in series. There is an, a fixed coil on the outside and a rotatable coil on the inside. Uh, I am not showing the uh, shaft that turns the rotatable coil, nor the bearings. Uh, because that would just complicate matters. Uh, it, would, it would look more realistic, but it would also perhaps confuse you more. The idea is that this rotatable coil can be turned so that it either lines up uh, with the um, fixed coil, that is the two axes al align with each other, or it can go all the way at any angle up to 90 degrees so that the two axes of the coils are perpendicular to one another. When they are perpendicular to one another, the coupling between the coils is minimum. When they are parallel or they align with each other, the coupling is maximum. And the coupling can be either maximum adding together to increase the inductance or maximum act bucking each other so that they, it reduces the inductance. Theoretically, if you have the right number of turns in each coil, uh, the inductance of either coil by itself would be the same, and if they buck each other, in the ideal scenario, you'd get zero inductance, and if they add or complement each other, you get twice the inductance. By rotating the inner coil, you can continuously vary the inductance without the need for complicated taps or slidable contacts, which can, which can only vary the inductance in small increments. This actually allows for continuous variation of the inductance between these two points. Uh, this lead right here goes to one end of the outer coil. The other end of the outer coil then goes to one end of the inner coil, and the other end of the inner coil goes uh, is the other contact for the entire variometer. So these two, in this example, are connected in series with one another. Um, that's how it. Uh, that's what a variometer in electricity and electronics is. A device that can continuously vary the inductance. Obviously, uh, an air core device is far easier to construct than anything with a ferrite or powdered iron core. Uh, so I show an air core device here suitable most likely at radio frequencies. That is frequencies above several hundred kilohertz or maybe even megahertz. Stan Gibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.